on a little fun video. I have not made a video about my pixie cut or lack thereof <laughs> in a hot minute, so it's about time. We are in a different setting, as you can see. Goblin's right here. I'm in my bedroom, and yes, that is a parking sign. Trey brought it home one night, and I have basically just learned to not ask questions. So, as you probably saw in the title, today we will be talking about 10 things I have learned about my hair while growing up my pixie cut. And I'm going to be giving you like tidbits of advice or like, you know, how I handle certain situations. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we start, can we just admire how long my hair has gotten? I need to put a side-by-side -side of like me right now with like a picture of the day I got my pixie cut. <laughs> and look how fancy I am, I have notes. Number one, you will have a mullet. You will have a mullet because the way hair works is it all grows at the same pace, right? But you got hair down here and you got hair up here. So they're both gonna grow two inches, but this is gonna be shaggy and this is gonna barely flop over. You're gonna have a mullet and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Unless you like shave the back of your hair and let the front catch up to the back, you're gonna have a mullet. And I do not wanna shave the back of my head, so. It will not last forever if you do decide to not shave it like I did. And hats are a thing. You can always cover it up. The good thing about the mullet is that you might be able to like pull the back up and have a low ponytail. Maybe, maybe. You will have a mullet if you grow out your pixie cut. Number two. No matter what, whether you buzz it in the back to let it catch up or not, you will have an awkward length at some point, whether it's the mullet or when it starts to grow over your ears. That sucks because it just like sticks out over the sides of your ears and it is awful. Advice, hair clips, hair clips, headbands, small ponytail holders. You will be able to pull back some of it, but you won't have enough hair to use like a big ponytail holder. Wear headbands if you look good in headbands. Sometimes I don't look too good in headbands. But like the cloth headbands are really good for this because you can kind of like cover it, like cover your ears with it. And it like totally hides that like really weird sticky outy part. So yeah, unfortunately you can't avoid the awkward length. I mean, it's. At some point, it's gonna be awkward and you're gonna hate your hair, but push through. You can always do stuff to make it less ugly and it won't last forever. Number three, I did not realize how much hair care, how much product I didn't use while I had a pixie cut. Holy cow. Like, as my hair has gotten longer, I'm like, oh, I need like deep frizz cream. I need hairspray. I have not used hairspray in like three years. So I guess my advice is realize that. Realize that you're gonna have to slowly integrate your old hair products back into your routine because I kinda didn't think about that. One day I needed hairspray and I just didn't have any at all. And I was like, oh crap. So once it starts getting, you know, grown out pretty long, go ahead and start buying your products because you'll need them a lot sooner than you think you do. Trust me on that. Number four. I forgot how to fix my hair. I haven't done a braid, a ponytail, pigtail, I haven't done that in about three years. It's so weird. It You just get out of practice and it's like, crap, how did I used to do this? Like, what? My advice to you is just take it slow. You know, slowly teach yourself again. Try not to get frustrated. I know it's super, super frustrating when you're trying to get your hair up in a ponytail and it's too short and part of it falls out and then you're like freaking out because you have to go somewhere. I've been there plenty of time. So basically another piece of advice is find that one hairstyle that works every time. Like for me, it was this like half up style like this, but it was like a tiny little ponytail in the back. You're just gonna have to wait for your hair to get to that right length, then you can do more things and try new things. Don't feel bad if you can't do all the fun little hairstyles you used to could do. Just find that one that gets it out of your face, that makes you feel cute, and just stick to that. Practice that. Number five, the temptation to cut my hair is overwhelming. <laughs> There have been several times where I thought about just, you know, I could just cut it again. I don't know why I'm dealing with this. I can just cut it right now. Have it a bad hair day? Just chop it off. Don't do it. 
you don't really want to cut it you're just mad so my advice for that is remember why you want to grow it out if you genuinely want to grow it out and you have like a goal in mind or something like lengthwise like for me I want all my hair to be like shoulder length that's my goal and then I'll reevaluate what I want remember that remember your goal and tell yourself you can always cut it again nothing is stopping you from cutting it again just get to your goal if you don't like it chop it off okay you can always cut it again but remember if you're growing your hair out why you wanted to in the beginning okay number six you will get people's attention good or bad just like with the whole cutting your hair into a pixie cut positive negative attention you're just gonna get it whether you want it or not so my advice to you on that is when people comment on your hair good or bad Try not to dwell on it too much. Um, remember that you didn't cut your hair and you're not growing your hair out for them. So their opinion shouldn't matter to you. I've had people say, oh, I liked it better when it was so long when I cut my hair. And then when I'm growing it out, I have people saying, but I liked it better when it was short. Bruh. You will never please everybody. So don't even try. <laughs> but, but seriously though, I mean, it's your hair. Do what you want. Because literally, no matter which style you have, long, short, medium, people are gonna hate it. And people are gonna love it. So, it's better to do something that you also love. Number seven, showers are a lot different now. My hair holds so much water, it's awful. I used to take a shower and just like shake my hair and it'll be dry. It was honestly amazing. And I kind of miss it. But now I have to like wring it out in the shower and then throw it up in a towel and do all the things and it's awful. It's awful. So I guess my advice to you is while it is more of a hassle and it can be pretty frustrating to like get back into that routine, just stick with it and eventually you'll get back into the routine of hair care and all that fun stuff and washing your hair differently and drying your hair differently. It just, it just takes some practice and it's gonna be weird at first and it's still weird having like wet hair on my neck. But I'm getting used to it slowly but surely. So you just gotta stick with it and just keep pushing because eventually it'll be like it was before and you probably won't even think about it. Number eight. I didn't realize how fun it was to try new hairstyles when you grow your pixie cut out. Like once you get to the length where you can like pull it up and stuff, y'all, I've done pigtails, I've done ponytails, I've done buns, I've done a low ponytail now, which I'm super stoked about. I've braided it actually, I've done like a top braid. So that's pretty awesome. Keep practicing because once your hair is even longer, that will be a good skill to have already nailed down. So just keep practicing with whatever length you have. Number nine, teaching my hair to lay down differently now. My hair is wavy and I have no clue what's going on some days. It has a mind of its own, I promise. It's frustrating having long, short hair. Does that make sense? There's only like so much you can do with it. You know, there are a bunch of fun hairstyles, but in the end, it's not as manageable as super long hair. I can't just throw it up in a ponytail or throw it up in a bun or French braid it real quick. I can't do that. Figuring out what works with your hair is difficult. This is a good time to start putting hair products in your hair, like defrizz cream and stuff, because with my hair, when I cut it, it like bounced up. Like, and I have my little like, bangs that went like this well now that my hair is heavier it like lays flat some days and then it's like curvy one day and then it's poopy the next day it is confusing huh? my hair doesn't know what's happening and it's it's awful because it wants to poof up like it used to but it's heavier now and it gets caught on more things now like behind my ears so it doesn't like lay the right way anymore so that's just something you have to just figure out for yourself. Like I said, now's the time to start doing like hair cream, defrizz stuff, gel, you know, kind of mold it to how you want it to be. And eventually it'll hopefully start doing that. I still have bad hair days, but you're gonna have that regardless. Number 10, the biggest thing that I didn't think about when I started growing my pixie cut out was how much it gets in my freaking way. Y'all, it is so annoying. When I had short hair, it stopped right here. 
which meant that no matter what I did, where I looked, how I bent over, it never got in my eyes. Oh my goodness, dude. I, I, oof. I don't know. It's, it's very frustrating. Um, <laughs> going from having that not even being a problem at all to it constantly being a problem. My hair is always in my face. It's always getting in the way. It's hot to have hair on your <laughs> neck, y'all. I have not had that in three-ish years. So, so my advice for this is use your hair clips, use your ponytail holders and headbands and hats. They will save you from having a mental breakdown. And also another little thing to add on to that is I absolutely hate when I'm having a good hair day, like it's laying right, it's pretty, it's washed, all that, and I'm doing an activity and it's getting in my way and I have to pull my hair back. I get so frustrated because I feel like I can never wear my hair down because it gets in my way. But one more piece of advice is put your hair up. Just put your hair up. If it's making you mad, put it up because it's not worth the frustration of leaving your pretty little hair down. Not worth it, at least in my book. Like today, I was cleaning my house and my hair looked gorgeous and luscious and it went up in a bun. So, I look like a samurai warrior or something. Or I look like Suki from Avatar. But anyway, that is all for now. I know that was probably a lot and I don't have it all together. I mean, you could probably tell, but that's just from my experience, the top 10 things that I've noticed or that I've struggled with after growing my pigs cut out. Hopefully some of my advice will help you. I know I kind of was pretty vague on some things, but everybody's different. So I hope that this can help you like it helped me. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Shh. Take your season of art.